Hey, everybody, it's Sapphire DJ, DJ Sapphire's Confession Part 4. Um, I'm just sitting here tonight, uh, thinking about some people that I'm friends with. Um, and just so wondering out there, like, I mean, maybe you ever had a friend that you felt was the most wonderful person you ever met in your life. And, I mean, I know Joe, I'm not joking, I'm not being funny. I'm, I'm being totally serious. And, um, they're childhood friends. But you're trying to wrap your head around, uh, or I don't know if I should say that, but you're trying to get to know them now as an adult, and and you have another friend that just came and derailed, um, n not your friendship, but derailed, um, because... You once, like, really loved this person. Um, and you always wanted to be with this person. Uh, I don't know if anybody's ever gone through that. Uh, I'm kind of going through that right now. And they're with someone else. Um... And I have to be really, really incredibly strong person. <clears throat> um, and I'm trying my best. But then I had this other friend write stuff, humiliating stuff about them, and labeled them in, in this journal. And it really upset me to the core uh, to read that part of the journal. Um, and then, like I said, I don't know if anybody's ever been through that. Where it's basically a rumor thing, you know what I mean? Like rumors. One more basically, basically a smear campaign to smear that person when ac accusing them of things you don't even freaking do. Um, and, it, and it rips me up. It it rips me up inside. Um, and all I can say to them is I'm doing my I'm I, I'm doing my best. I'm not trying to dwell on. Things, but when I read things in front of me, it brings me back. Back when I when I read things from the past, it brings me back there, and I remember how they were back then, and um, it was such like an innocent time with us. Um, not really for me. Um, it actually just brought back a lot of things that were going on in the home, in my home back then. Not gonna get into that, but um, things I was dealing with and having that person leave, or you know, come and tell me that they. I forget exactly how they put it, but all I know is that they told me they couldn't hang around with me anymore, or see me anymore, or whatever he said, and walked away down the street, and I saw the back of his head. And I was like, standing there like, what in the fuck? Excuse my language is happening. I that day 
I felt like my world ended and it was not going to be the same and it really was not the same it was terrible it was um I felt like everything just stopped all the time just stopped the time has stopped in that time um And I've seen some, I'm seeing someone for this, and, um, it is, like, gut-wrenching, heart-wrenching, and I'm trying to be, like, strong, because I know this person wants me to be strong in my heart. This person has a, it, uh, it took me, wow, we when was that? Back in the 80s? No, wait, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Hold up. Might have been 890. Last time I saw this person, 1990s. I think. Oh no, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, somewhere in the early 90s. I, last time I seen them. Not him, when I seen him last. And my, I was calling him on a payphone, and I got caught. Um, and I had to lie to my mother. And he was on my porch. Well, I was walking with my friend, and then I turned around and I seen him walking down the down the I think it was the railroad tracks. Um, and I said, oh, shit. I, uh, I was so nervous that this guy was, wa that this kid was walking down the street. Or walking down the things. And I'm like, hiding behind freaking trees. All kinds of stuff. Like, oh my god. Because I knew my mother was going to kill me. She was going to have a freaking have a fit. So, here I am, getting in trouble, and it's like Rapunzel, or whatever, like when Rapunzel and the prince asked her to let her hair down, and she climbed out of her, I think she climbed out of her window, or whatever the heck happened. I don't really remember the story. <sighs> Sorry. Something similar to that, but my version. Going to my bedroom, my my bedroom window was was in the front, and I could see my porch, the front porch from my window. And all I could do was stare and watch him, and watch his beautiful hair fly. I. Watch his beautiful dark hair. And. Think wow. And here is my mom. Or whoever. I forget if it was her boyfriend or my brother on the porch. Asking him to go. What the hell is he doing there? To go away. And he's like well. She was calling me. Or something he said. And they pushed him away. And. I'm pretty sure that's the last time I've seen him. Walking away once again. Um, and I, I'm trying... He says he was 14... Or... His birthday is after mine. I keep forgetting that. So, <clears throat> I was 15. He was still... Maybe he was still 14. I don't know. I don't remember. That's what he said, I think. He was still 14, but... Um, his birthday didn't come around yet or something. And I know it was my freshman year of high school, so I was already 15 because my birthday's in September. And I'm thinking, oh my god, he's leaving again. And I just wanted to just say, screw this. Go down the stairs and say, freaking come back, dude. Like, I, 
I wanted Sonic Team so much. And my mother destroyed that by asking him to leave and I had to pretend I didn't want him there. Oh, I don't know. I just made up some shit and then said, I don't know why I said it. That I'm like, I don't know what the hell he's doing here. I, I just acted like a bitch. For like a second. And then I'm like, banging my, freaking kicking myself. Uh, why'd I freaking just let, why'd I just freaking do that? I mean, I should just said, hell with this. And went down the fucking stairs. Sorry for my language, guys, but... It's on, it's like rack on my freaking brain right now. Like, why the hell did I do that? I should have just said, dude, come back. I want to talk to you. The, I mean, there had to be a reason for him. I mean, he, I don't know why. I mean, he obviously wanted to see what I wanted. But, you know, they pushed him away. My mother was, like, so strict. So bloody strict that... She just put dam dampers on. All kinds of stuff. Um, there's things going on that I just... I think I wanted him back. I just wanted to hang out with him again or whatever it was. Just so I could freaking forget what was going on. All the shit that was like. <clears throat> happening. In the house. Um. Which I don't want to go into detail. I've already. Mentioned something to his mom. I was. I don't know. I was so hurt. So hurt that he left. And I did, I did stop eating, um, actually, I did stop eating for a while. My mother had, like, forced me to eat. She says, you need to eat, you need to stop worrying about them, you need to eat, you need to eat. I'm like, I don't want to freaking eat. I want to talk to them. I don't want to eat. I, I don't care. Like, everything was just going to shit. Um, my life really went to shit, and I, I did shit that I was lost. I, I, I just felt, I guess he was the only one I could relate to, and he didn't make fun of me, he didn't, like, do crap to me. I mean, he did, like, goofy shit, that was funny, but... I really miss him to the core and like yes I think when I spoke to him again I do want to be with him I, I wanted a relationship with I, I think when I was calling him I wanted a relationship with him and wanted to really tell him that and I hope he wasn't coming like tell me to go screw off but, you know, I don't think so because he apologized to me and that, like, floored me. Um, after, I don't know, let's see, yeah, like 20-something years or something. He actually was apologizing to me for things. Um, I'm like, wow. I'm like, wow, I really love this dude. Like, no dude has ever, like, done that with me. Has not said he was sorry about shit. And it really touched my heart. See, I'm going to cry now because, like, it really touched my heart. Um, try not to cry. But he... He really touched my heart. Um, there's something about him.
he, uh, you know, I was, he, he's my balance. I feel like he's, without him, I don't, I have balance. He's my balance. Like, you know, someone's, it's like someone's ripping off someone's right arm. You know, that's how I feel. I don't want to get, sh I really get emotional when I talk about him. But, because I ha haven't gotten seen, oh, I've seen pictures of him, but I haven't seen him in person yet. I've seen pictures of him. Uh, or have some pictures from stuff. But anyway, um,. But this girl writing the stuff in journals and smearing him and <sighs> like she had really no right to do that. No, nobody should smear anybody, and that that killed me. It killed me. I mean, she wrote about my family. She wrote. She just smeared his name everywhere labeled him something he's not and it just uh, ripped my heart out really ripped my heart out this girl's a sick idiot and I want him to know I'm not saying his name or anything but I want he knows who he is out there I want him to know that I am doing my best to heal, to get through this shit. Um, I do want to see him in person. I I want to talk to him without being choked, without being chopped up, or um, it, it caused a lot of pain in me. It caused bad memories in me. Because I felt a certain way about him, and I no longer feel that way about him. Um, I was very angry with him, but I'm not, I don't feel angry anymore. And I've reached, in, I, I really reached inside myself to forgive this person for stuff. And he, he doesn't deserve that. He doesn't deserve this asshole doing that shit. And I kind and I let this idiot try to destroy friendship between him and I. And I and and I'm I'm got messed up and said stupid shit to him that I shouldn't shouldn't said. And uh, I know that might be that might be why well, he's not. I haven't spoke. He hasn't called me. I don't know if that's what it is, but he needs to know that he can trust me. I would like to speak to him again on the phone. I mean, I know they're having an issue, but I mean, well, I mean, there, there's something they don't have a telephone or whatever I don't know what's going on but I and he hasn't felt well and I hope that he's not like not talking to me because he's angry with me this That would tear me up. Really tear me up. He was mad at me. Still. For, you know, stuff. Um, he knows what I'm talking about. I wrote him a letter about it. Um, I had to put things in a letter because... <laughs> 
can talk to him. So anyway, my message is I want him to know I'm trying my best. I'm trying the best. And I hope that's good enough for him because That's all I could do. Um, okay? That's all I can do, okay? So, um, I hope you, um, okay. I gotta go.